For a few years now, there's been this hypothetical philosophical problem floating around. Would you kill baby Hitler? To answer the question for those of you who are impatient, no, I wouldn't. For a more detailed explanation, there's of course an assumption that needs to be stated. We know with 100% confidence that baby Hitler will grow up to be a mass-murdering dictator. Ok, so why wouldn't I kill him? Reason 1, and this is my main reason. In my estimation, all babies are born pure of heart, clear of cruelty and malice. It is life that teaches one to hate, to strike out at others through anger and fear. Basically, baby Hitler was just like any other baby. He wasn't evil or guilty of any crime. Killing baby Hitler would have been the same as killing an innocent child. Reason 2. Even if I killed baby Hitler, who would guarantee that another person would have not taken his place? I strongly doubt that Hitler's non-existence would have prevented World War II. Although Hitler is the most recognisable face of the terrible events that occurred in Germany and elsewhere during that time period, could it not be argued that he was just a reflection of the prevailing trends and underlying political ideologies of German society at that time? It wasn't just Hitler that believed in what he believed in. There must have been thousands of people who believed exactly the same thing. Yes, he was the charismatic spokesperson and face of the Nazi party, but Hitler did not invent anti-Semitism or fascism. His non-existence may well have had no bearing on Germany's dark future. Reason 3. Killing is wrong. I could never justify killing a baby no matter what people told me they would grow up to be. I can't even justify killing a baby sheep for crying out loud. The following reasons are purely selfish ones, but should be noted. Reason 4. Legal consequences. If I killed baby Hitler, no matter how confident I am in him growing up to become a dictator, who would possibly believe that story? Surely I would be punished for my crime. If I wasn't immediately shot or whatever, and I did manage to secure a fair trial in court, would anybody possibly believe my story? This little baby was going to grow up to become a murdering dictator. At best, I would have been sent to a mental institution. My story would be considered to be the ramblings of a madman. Reason 5. No proof. After killing baby Hitler, there would be absolutely no piece of evidence I could provide to prove my story. I would be considered absolutely insane. Even if I lived my entire life swearing black and blue that my decision was the right one, even if World War II was averted and that I saved the world, it would only be me who knew anything about it. Depending on how I got back in time in the first place, if I did successfully avert World War II, then the future history books would know nothing about the war. And if I did get any mention in the history books, historians would consider me to be some kind of insane criminal who killed innocent babies. So no, killing baby Hitler would never have been an option for me. To be fair, it's not even a real question really. It's not possible, and even if it were, should we go back in time killing all those people that we now deem as monsters? Wouldn't that eventually make us the monsters? Mm -hmm.